Alright, motherfuckers, so I just checked out the trailer for the new Velma show, and, uh, let me tell you, that, that shit was ass, man, like, that, that was fucking dog shit, pun intended. Velma sucks, Norville fucking sucks, Glenn Howerton as Fred fucking sucks, uh, Daphne getting naked, uh, in this scene, having no clothes on, that's actually... I was not expecting that. That was a pleasant surprise. Gonna have to check that episode out. But otherwise, this series is such a slap in the face to all the fans who got the show popular and got it to where it was today. Now, I may not be good at writing or coming up with valid criticisms, but as a longtime Scooby-Doo fan who's watched all the movies, including this one, and uh, especially this one, I have the best idea of what the Scooby-Doo community wants from this show. So get out your fucking notepad, Mindy Kaling, from The Office, you bitch. Alright, so first of all, if you've watched the trailer, you, you'll realize that a crucial character that's that's been a main staple of the series has has just suddenly disappeared for no reason. And you know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Shaggy. Who in the shit and piss is Norville? Stop inserting your stupid ass self-inserts in his fucking show. Replace this asshole with Shaggy, and then uh, then you got the, uh, a bit of a relationship forming right here. Also, you may notice that Scooby-Doo uh, does not appear at all in this show. Like, what the fuck? You're gonna call this show Scooby-Doo Origins Velma and not even include the fucking Scooby-Doo iconic character in the show? It isn't that hard to put Scooby-Doo in this show. All you have to do is just like put him in the scene like just have him in every scene just you don't even have to animate him just have it have it have him a jpeg and use uh recycled voice lines of frank welker from from the newer movies and uh, there scooby-doo's in this show you don't even have to change anything you don't have to animate him he's fine he's look at him he's right there he's in this scene now okay and finally the uh the scenes with daphne i don't actually have any complaints you know especially about these particular ones you know uh, i think uh if you really want to improve the show you have to have at least half of the show be taken up by scenes where she's not wearing any clothes uh she's a uh, nude in the scene uh you don't even have to race swap her back to her original white counterpart i, I don't give a shit as long as she's as long as she's uh, not not wearing any clothes in the scene i'm fine with that you don't even have to uh remove the lesbian relationship potentially uh because if it leads to a sex scene beyond the horizon where uh scooby-doo is just in the bedroom staring at me the whole time i'm fucking watching the scene i, I don't care i'll watch that episode a hundred times i'll watch that motherfucking episode a thousand times all right mindy kaling from the fucking office i hope you took some notes if not, please rewind the video to the earlier parts that you uh, did not write down and write down any points that you missed. And that's how you fix the new uh, Velma TV show. If anybody from Warner Brothers is uh, watching this video right now, uh, feel free to hire me as the creative consultant in and next time you want to fuck up Scooby-Doo for everyone. Peace, bitch. Go fuck yourself.